Hi guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to defragment your hard drive in Windows 7. Okay, so bottom left hand corner you'll see the start icon there, I'm going to click that. And just above it you'll see the search programs and files box. We want to type in there the word run. And then you'll see the results pop up there, right at the top uh, under programs you'll see the run item there, so we want to click that on. Our run dialog will be open. Now um, we want to need to type some letters in here, which is DFR and then GUI. Alright, so DFR GUI and then click on OK and the disk defragmenter will be open. Now it'll list uh, all your disks there. Now uh, as a minimum you'll have what I've, I have here which is C and then system reserved. You don't need to worry about system reserved. Uh, the most important one is your a system drive. Okay, now 90% of the time that's going to be uh, C drive, but if you want to make sure, just uh, look for the little Windows logo above the hard drive icon there, and that uh, designates that it's the system drive. Uh, Windows runs a lot better when uh, with less fragmentation. Okay, so we want to select that and then click the defragment disk button, and that will. Uh, uh, run for anywhere between 30 minutes and 3 hours, it depends um, on how many files you have, how full the disk is, uh, the size of the disk, etc. So um, you can do basic tasks uh, like browsing and that sort of thing, but I wouldn't be uh, editing video or anything heavy like that while the fragmenter is uh, working. Um, I usually go and do something else for a few hours. Now if you need to stop it, uh, just click the stop operation there, but other than that just let it run through and then when it's finished click close and it's a good idea to restart uh, just to get things running fresh and you're all done. So uh, any questions or comments leave them below and uh, I'll catch you next time guys. Cheers.